Vlogmas, everyone! Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> Happy Vlogmas! Can you guess what we are? Birds. Reindeer! Oh, reindeer. We're reindeer! <laughs> Crazy. And, and we're reindeer for a really good reason. We are going to be trying some Christmas themed wine! Heck yeah! Woo! <laughs> so, Tito did some research I and did. found this wine at Total Wine. Yep. Total and Wine Spirits. Each wine is named after one of the reindeer. Yeah. Hence this at the beginning. How many antlers do reindeer have? Like, like this? I don't know. What kind of. This. It could be a big buck. <laughs> Maybe a little crooked. I don't know. Pop quiz. Let me know in the comments below. Can you name all eight reindeer without Googling it? Do it. Okay, let's try. You first. Oh no. <laughs> Pressure. Because I know it. Rudolph, obviously. With his nose so bright. Prancer and Vixen. <laughs> oh, you can't look at the wines. <laughs> nope, no I'm looking at the wines. Donner, Dancer. Mm. What have I said so far? <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Donner, Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Don. Ah! <laughs> oh, I know all of them. I'm gonna name all of them for you right now and show off and be like, ha ha ha. Donner, Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner Blitzen? <laughs> you said Donner already. Huh? <laughs> You're right out you of it, right? Apparently you guys in the comments will really know it because we, we don't know it off the top of our heads. But why would that make them know it? Because they probably typed it in and they already figured it out. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. That stands to reason. Well, anyways, we have three different wines to try today. Each is named after a different reindeer from Santa Slay. Yep. And we will be tasting them in my favorite Christmas wine glasses Yay. that I got from Pier One last year. They have little doggies. And look with this little doggies being a reindeer. And this one's got a little Santa hat. You guys can really see that so great, but they're super cute. They came in a set of four and I love them. They bring me so much joy. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell, I really love dogs. Yes, we Anyways. love dogs. Yeah. We <laughs> and we love wine. Oh, what a perfect combination. <laughs> yes. So let's get to tasting. We are going to start off with the Comet Cupid. Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon? I think that's how you say that. It's such a weird word. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to start with the Comet Cupid Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, let me read the story though. There's like a little story on the back here. Okay, so here's the front. Comet and Cupid. I'm sure you saw it already. So here's the story. The fall months are extremely frantic at the North Pole. Not only is Santa getting ready for Christmas, but it's also the time he harvests and makes his wine for next Christmas. Whoa, Santa, you're a busy man. That's a planner right there. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it is. This year, he is especially excited because the grapes came from vineyards that Comet and Cupid particularly seem to enjoy. All summer long, the eight tiny reindeer watch and wait for the grapes to grow to their optimum maturity. Santa knows that when his reindeer are smiling, it's time to pick the grapes. It seems that happy reindeer make really good wine. And this is vented and bottled by Eight Tiny Reindeer Winery in Santa Rosa, California. I mean, I'm excited. Let's get this bad boy open. Let's get it open. So it's time to open the bottle. <laughs> if you guys tuned in for a satisfying pop, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. We have the Comet Cupid. Probably a little. That's way too much. Probably a little bit uh -huh. too much. <laughs> Whoops. Somebody got a little overzealous on the pour there. I guess we'll just have to sit here and drink it then, huh? <laughs> Look, during quarantine, there's been a lot of wine that's been had. So it's the true. amount of pour has grown significantly <laughs> over time as the months have progressed. So I'm sorry, my my caliber of like where I need to be on a wine pour for just it's a taste. Tasty. <laughs> yeah, to me it's like I'm gonna taste the whole bottle in one sitting. Look how much you put in that. This is my doggy cup. Okay. Look well, how cute it is. We'll let it aerate a little bit. Comet Cupid can breathe a little bit. Comet and Cupid. All right. Well. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Mwah, I love you. <laughs> Cheers to you. Very smooth. That is very smooth. I was not expecting mm. that. I was honestly nervous. That is a good dinner wine. Yes. Yeah. 
These were all about $10 each. Mm -hmm. Each of these bottles were $10 at Total Wine and Spirits. We got them curbside picked up. It was really great, really easy. This one is just super good. I could have this for dinner. Like I typically don't like red wine. Not that I dislike it, it's mm -hmm. just like. It's not your go-to. No. You're more of a sweet wine drinker. I am, and I wouldn't say this is something I would go to, mm -hmm. but it's not as strong as like I was expecting it to be. No, no, this is a really good middle of the road mm -hmm. um, dinner wine. So going back to finish off what we were saying, because I don't know if it recorded or not, that is a really great dinner wine. Mm -hmm. I was telling Amber, that I honestly think it's comparable to some $40, $30 wines that mm -hmm. I've had. It must be a company that like produces these seasonal wines, but they make other wines throughout the mm -hmm. year and they just bottle it up in these in, in this like pretty packaging. We, we're guessing, we don't we're know. We're guessing, we don't know. But it's a really, really good wine. Let's try Rudolph next. So moving on. The man of the hour. <laughs> we're going on to the man of the hour. <laughs> Mr. Mrs. They Rudolph. So unsatisfying, not, oh, hold on, actually. Reindeer poop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because it's reindeer wine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I ain't doing bunny ears. But it's, it's like a little reindeer. Oh, so you're like a little baby reindeer? Yeah. Hello, little baby reindeer. Hello. Reptar is out, right out of shot. <laughs> I just have fun doing that. So, Rudolph is a red blend, mm -hmm. and um, I don't have to pretend to speak French or anything. And I believe he has his own story? No, they're all the same story. Same story, they just added Rudolph. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do a normal tasting pour. That's enough, that's enough. He does not understand the concept of a tasting. That's enough. Oh, now we're spilling. Thank you, Rudolph. Do you remember the days when you used to go to wineries? Remember the days when Groupon was a thing and you would like get wine tours and like... I would get us stuff on there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was we, fun. We went on a wine tour once. <laughs> that got crazy. It got really wild. <laughs> I didn't know wine tours turned into party buses. I'll just it, say that. It much. truly did. And we were both like in our seat, like, happening on the We were like slightly buzzed, just kind of like relaxing on each other, reminiscing <laughs> on the day that we had. And all you hear is, woo! And I was like, oh my and lanta! They were partying. They were. They truly were. Let's see if Rudolph gets us in the party mood. He's kind of the party guy, huh? Cheers. <laughs> I like this better than the last one. Really? So this one I think is a little bit more dry tasting to me. Really? It hits on that like note of dryness for me. It definitely does, you're right. Yeah, and- I think it's because I had a cookie <laughs> before my first bite, I mean so my first sip. This is definitely another dinner wine, but paired separately than what I would pair the Cabernet. I think Cabernet is supposed to be with more red meats. Um, I think if you were going to get a red wine and you wanted one of these holiday ones, go for the Cabernet Sauvignon. That's definitely one that you can sit down for a full dinner, have a full bottle, the Cabernet, the Comet Cupid is one you can sit down. This Rudolph one is definitely something you buy for a specific meal. I think this is more for like the fish and chicken. You know what they should have done for this? Showed for, what to prepare with. For Rudolph is make it a sparkling sweet red wine mm. because you know his shiny nose. Yeah. Ooh, look at you getting into marketing. Uh huh. They should have <laughs> done some sparkling wine. If you're listening, eight tiny reindeer, please next year make it some sparkling wine, huh? Yeah. It's still a really good wine. Like mm -hmm. for other dry reds and red blends that I've had. The first one that comes to mind, I think, is Minaj de Trois. It, it kind of reminds me of that red blend. Mm -hmm. And like, it's it, it's really good. Like, this is something that you could take to a house party when that's allowed, or have the holiday seasons by yourself, watching Netflix and all the Christmas movies and seeing people <laughs> fall in love during Christmas. This is a good one. To wrap it up, the Rudolph one was really great, but really dry. I would agree with Amber and say, go with the Comet Cupid if you want a good dinner yeah. red if that's your cup of tea, cup of wine. Cup of wine. If that's your cup of wine. If that's your glass of wine. <laughs> if that's your glass of wine, go with that red. So up next, we have Amber's favorite, which is a Moscato. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A Moscato. Moscato. <laughs> So Amber's really into sweet wines. This is Prancer Vixen, really cute names. I'm really excited for this one because we both like Moscato mm -hmm. and we have a LG ThinQ refrigerator and we specifically bought that refrigerator because it makes ice balls 
for wine and for drinking and for just like they look cool mm -hmm. and they melt slower and it's really really cool i love that refrigerator for that feature we like to pour our moscato cold moscato moscato printer and fix it yeah i must got to know if uh, you guys love this kind of wine or red wine. So let me know in the comments below. Like white or red? Yeah. What do you guys prefer, white or red? Do you prefer a dry white, a dry red, a sweet red? A su I'm really just delaying you drinking this nice wine. I'm getting pretty upset. <laughs> <laughs> getting a little bit antsy over mm -hmm. here. I'm not gonna lie. Well, don't be prancing around the topic anymore and just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I should've been hunting this thing all day. Per Miss Amber's request, we will not be doing tasting sizes. We are gonna be doing full pours. Yay! Because this is the last wine of the That's night. That's enough pours. Oh, That's quarantine good. pours. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a quarantine pour for your life and for Christmas For time. your evening, for your you evening. say. <laughs> for your life? What are you talking about at this point? <laughs> You've had too much red wine, sir. And now it's going to be too much white wine. Got to sniff it. Ooh, it smells sweet. Cheers. Cheers. As a Moscato right. connoisseur, <laughs> I would venture to say this is on, here's Moscato up here, here's watered down white wine over here, this is where we at about right here. Mm -hmm. Not the best Moscato. <laughs> Girl, if you want yourself a Moscato, do not get Prancer and Vixen, go get some good stuff. If you want some good stuff, send me a message, I'll tell you what it is. And boy, <laughs> same thing, but message. <laughs> <laughs> This is, I'm sure you saw it in our faces, it's not as sweet as you would expect it to be. So if, you, if you're if you someone who drinks a lot of Moscato, there are some brands like they'll say... Bar um, Bartonora, is that what Bartonora, and then I even think uh, Middle Sister has a Moscato. Mm -hmm, that, that's really good. You know what, even Barefoot has a Moscato oh, that's yeah. very, very sweet. Prancer Vixen, on the other hand, isn't as sweet as you would expect it to be. Are you even using the muscat grapes? Um, Prancer and Vixen? Prancer and Vixen. We're gonna have to have a chitty chat. Like, I'm not gonna not drink it. I'm not gonna not finish this. <laughs> but slightly disappointed. So would you say there's some Vixen to do for this? <laughs> oh for my the gosh. Formula? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's growing on me. I'll put it this way. When I drink Moscatos, I like to be, I like my mouth to feel super sweet with the flavor. It's an like, experience. Yeah, it's an experience when you and drink And they have something like a little slight bubble to it. Right. A slight sparkle. This one didn't give Zero me that sparkle. same like flavoring. Just to wrap up Moscato, it wasn't all there. It wasn't, I would honestly, I think Comic Cupid, the Cabernet Sauvignon, was still the yeah. best of the three that we had today. Agreed. And for um, what it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cheers guys, and thank you for checking out today's video, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Yay, Vlogmas! Bye! Bye.